so what is your name and from which place you belong to okay uh, so my name is uh, colonel mohit bansal and uh, i am from jaipur i have come from jaipur i am uh, presently posted at a very vulnerable place so which is located in a high altitude and uh, primarily i cannot disclose the location because of certain uh, reasons but uh, the place where i am posted as of now it is a indo china border uh, sir you uh, from which uh, source you hear about the event that is going here in satlok ashram okay so uh, first of all i am really overwhelmed and i'm really very very happy that i have come to this place i mean uh, i'm very i consider myself as very lucky that i have visited this beautiful amazing very neat and clean place the though i would be describing the entire thing which i have seen subsequently but uh, uh, let me answer the question which you have asked uh, so i have come here with the reference of uh, my very dear and close friend suresh ji ajmera who is again from jaipur he mentioned me about this place few days back he also mentioned me that he is a great follower of uh, shri sant rampal ji maharaj and uh, he whenever he used to meet me every time he used to recite some of the shlokas and certain lessons which has been taught by sant shri rampal ji maharaj now with respect to this function which is ongoing uh, he mentioned me a couple of days back that he would be going to this place called sojat and to be very fr- frank i being from rajasthan i had never heard about this place that there is a some place called as sojat also in rajasthan but nevertheless when he mentioned me he shared the location and he invited me that please do come to this place and it is you will really feel very happy and uh, mesmerizing once you come to this place so whatever he said it has come really true when i came here i mean i personally let me i mean i never imagined that uh, i would be coming and i would be witnessing such a great event i mean it is not great i have no words it is a super great event and uh, the sumer ji bhagat ji sumer ji when he explained me the entire things that no person has been employed to carry out the various settings be it the bhandara which is going on lakhs of people have already you know have uh, been to this bhandara and uh, i was again surprised to see the type of cleanliness over there and when he told me that there are no people who have been employed to conduct this event it is only the volunteers and willingly they are doing all all these things i mean i mean it is a thing to see i i'll not say that we do not see such things outside but having this such a great big event and no people have been employed to carry to you know manage this event it is a really very big thing and i think it is uh, because of the blessings of sant rampal ji maharaj that this event has been is being organized in such a flawless manner and i am sure we are again balanced with one more day and i am sure that the same pace the same bhakti and the same thing would carry on for balance of the days also uh, so you are talking about the self discipline of the devotees of santrampal ji maharaj that are serving in this particular event so santrampal ji maharaj has met some uh, regulations for a person to take naam diksha from him uh, some of them are like uh, a devotee can't consume alcohol and related products uh, he can't consume meat uh, he can't kill animals for the flesh so what do you want to say about those regulations because uh, at most of the other places a person simply goes there and take naam diksha and gets uh, uh, related to them it is not there that you have to follow some regulations but santram pal ji maharaj has made strictly some regulations that a person must follow to take naam diksha from him what do you want to say about this see the uh, the lessons which you has just which santram pal ji maharaj has just uh, mentioned and what he want from all the devotees to uh, you know leave all these things so it is a great thing and uh, in our uh, you know our great forefathers have also told us the same thing in our life that we should get rid of alcohol and uh, all the uh, meat and non vegetarian items so i think uh, the discipline the lesson which he has given we should follow it in letter and spirit and uh, i mean if relief really, i have to tell you that 
नॉट ओनली अबाउट संत रामपाल जी महाराज बट इट इज यू नो इट इज दीज थिंग्स आर नॉट गुड फॉर हेल्थ एज सच सो आई मीन वॉट एवर ही सेड वी वन मस्ट फॉलो इन लेटर इन स्पिरिट Uh, sir, uh, apart from the the spiritual aspect, Sant Ram Balaji Maharaj is also working for the social welfare. For example, uh, constantly events like dowry free marriages, blood donation camps yes, yes. are organized by Absolutely. Sant Ram Balaji Maharaj. Uh, what do you want to say about them? So I missed that part, and uh, the the time when I had come here, and uh, when I saw that the, these three things. that dowry free marriage uh, organ donation and the blood camps have also been organized at this this place i mean it is the biggest social service which one can do and uh, rampal ji mara since he has been saying all these things uh, from various decades so i mean uh, there you will find very rare people outside who are fall- still following everybody say that we are doing this that but on ground you will see very fever people who would be doing and following all these things so these three things i don't think that apart from these three things there could be anything which is which can be more important also i mean organ donation blood camp donation blood donation and dowry free marriage i don't think a fourth thing which could be more greater than all these things so these things have i mean these these things have really won my heart i would say and uh, i mean one must follow all these things very religiously uh, sir you yourself are uh, belongs to army and santram bal ji maharaj has made an app especially for the army men and for the police if they are in need of blood they can then they can access the app and then can directly get the supply of the blood from uh, some of the persons so what do you want to say about this initiative uh, i'm so sorry i am not aware of this app but when you were asking this question to me i personally felt very happy that this is a uh, this kind of an app which is still existing and uh, i mean i'm sure with the uh, especially with the armed forces this app is going to going to help us a lot i am definitely going to download this app and not only download this app but i am going to circulate this app within my own officers and men ma'am uh, what is your name and from which which place you belong to my name is neha bansal and i belong from jaipur uh, ma'am uh, santram balji maharaj is doing some great work for the welfare of the daughters uh, you i think you uh, you must be aware about the dowry system because of which uh, because of which the daughters are considered as a burden by their parents so uh, do you think that uh, by the initiative of dowry free marriages this custom uh, this ill custom can be removed from the society yes definitely it will remove from the society this dowry system it is actually removed from the society uh, ma'am uh, you must have visited uh, some crowded place places earlier uh, the the security of the women in such crowded places is itself a very big issue uh, so what do you feel about uh, the same issue in, uh, in such a crowded place such as satlok ashram see uh, i can answer this question <laughs> yes sir obviously <laughs> this i mean again see you see you are reminding me as what i actually forget to mention it the type of security when i have come to this place i don't personally feel i mean i don't know how will how the people will take it outside outside sometimes i feel that women are not safe here when i saw the management the things for the ladies which is being organized be it their resting area be it their toiletries toilets be it their uh, place where the bhandara is been organized it is so good and so secure i mean any women can come here can feel very safe 24 into 7 i mean you are absolutely safe and especially when you are under the umbrella of sant rampal ji maharaj to koi to aapka kuch ukhadi nahi koi kuch aapka bigadi nahi sakta fir to so it is very fine and women are absolutely safe over here Uh, so there are uh, so many persons who spread rumors about Sant Ram Balaji Maharaj. There are many myths which are prevalent in the society. Now you have yourself visited Satlok Ashram. Uh, what the what is the difference? Yeah, what is the message that you want to give to the society that are basically uh, infected by those rumors? See, uh, I mean, I would say rumors are for fools. So one should never believe in the rumors. Uh, secondly. anybody who has been carried away by these rumors about the maharaj should personally come and at least and 
personally come and at least visit such places the places which has been spread all over the world we have 19 or 20 such places in india that is what has been told to me by sumir ji and we have places in abroad also so all these people people who have been carried away by these rumors by myths or whatever should at least come to such places should see personally and i would suggest to these people to come and stay here for 3 days 2 days and that is how they will come to know ke the things which they were following before coming to this place were all absolutely wrong and all you know were rumors so they should personally come and see themselves saaj ko aaj kya so should they should personally come and visit the place i am sure the people who have done their brainwash would again be brainwashed when they will come here uh, thank you for giving us your valuable time thank you so much thanks a lot and good luck thank you sir Thank you.